Number the pregame festivities are over, and we're just about set to get this game underway. He really got a hold of that kick. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Zips it to the tight end. Getting the ball to your tight end and allowing him to make plays in the passing game can really open things up on the outside for your real speedsters. From their own 35-yard line, first down. And he's going to lose big yardage. He's tackled immediately after the catch. Drop back four yards on that one. Well, that's just a that sound play a by the defense. Team. They dropped him well short of the line of scrimmage. receiver and he can't make the grab was the intended receiver on the play from their own 31 yard line it's third down right down around the 44 yard line a good look and pass that time well, here they do a nice job of getting the ball out to their speedy receiver he shows you that he not only could turn on the jets but he's got pretty decent hands as well First and ten. Ball on the 44. Gets out to around the 32. They're eating up a lot of field on this drive. I'm really impressed with their ball control. receiver knocked out of bounds around the six yard line huge play for both the quarterback and receiver but it all starts with the big fellas up front who provided the time to get the quarterback a chance to throw first and goal from the five and looking to cap this off with a touchdown Touchdown, Cards! He makes the PAT. A seven-play, 75-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. I think the thing, Brad, that I'm seeing is the quarterback's taking advantage of some one-on-one -on -one opportunities on the outside for some big plays for this offense. The score now, 7-0. Sends it sailing downfield. Looks like they're ready for the kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Hurricanes offense basically predicated on what this kid can do. The thing about, I love about this guy, Brad, is, is just the intangibles that he brings to the table. We've been seeing this guy make plays over the weeks, but the thing that I really recognize is his ability to really lead this football team. When things are going well, he's patting everybody on the back. When things are not going well, he's trying to pick them back up and getting them ready to go. So not only does he physically have the tools, but also I really love the way he approaches the game. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on their own 24. Here we go. That was incomplete, and it looked exactly like their last pass. It was exact same play, and I think the offensive coordinator just tried to pull a fast one. So the defense does their job well on that series. And now they should come away with pretty good field position. So consider that a big stop. He really got a hold of that one. Brought down at the 27-yard line. You know what? It might not have been a lot, but they moved the ball forward. Football's not a game won 100 yards at a time. You take what you can get. 
Brad, let's see if this offense can maintain the rhythm that they established on that last drive. Not just putting points on the board, but driving the length of the field to be able to eventually put points up. I think that's going to be important for them to try to keep that confidence going here on this drive. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Louisville is up a score. And he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. Quick strike, and he drops it. From their own 37-yard line, it's second down. Complete across the middle, and they make the stop around the 47-yard line. Right around the 50. From midfield. Second down. He gets rid of this one. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Throws complete and he stopped immediately. The defense didn't stop the pass, but they stopped him short of the sticks. And that's the important thing here. Allow him to make the catch, but make sure you tackle him before he gets to the first down marker. Try to change the field position with his kick. He punts. No, he won't. Gets it out quickly. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. From the 40-yard line, it's first down. Louisville is up by a touchdown. And he's tackled at about the 33-yard line. Here's play number 10 on the drive. You'll be seeing that one in the highlight reels. What a great, great run. A real display of all the tools that he brings to the table. And he tacks on the extra point. A nice 10 play, 74 yard drive. And the result, seven points. Brad, I love these kind of drives. They're old school, grind it out and earn the yards. Rip the heart right out of that defense. So the score now, 14-0. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They need to show a little giddy up now because if they don't start eating into this deficit, they could easily fall out of the game. Great job by the running back, and that's a gain of nine. Short yardage situation here. Right, Second right, down and one. Four down, four down. Two's the mic. Ready. Green 19. Check, check. Eagle. Eagle. Hut, hut, hut. They'll bring him down around the 30-yard line. Just nowhere for the ball carrier to go as the linebacker met him in the backfield. Boy, what great play recognition by this linebacker. He saw the run was coming, and he just shot through the gap and made a great tackle. I think the offensive line missed a block there. Somebody did. It was like a jailbreak up front, and the linebacker will get the credit for the sack. We played one. Louisville leads it 
14 0. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. They've got 10 guys up. They're coming after the kick. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. He makes it to the 48-yard line. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead, and on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Here he goes. And he's tackled after positive yardage. And he keeps it on the option play and picks up six. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. Mike is 59. He gets out to about the 45-yard line. wasn't clicking on that last drive, and their execution was lacking. That'll make it fourth and six. He's going to aim this one to the sideline, try to kick it out of bounds. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. He's got it out to his tight end, and they push him out at the 44. I like it. They're not afraid to try this defense over the middle. The quarterback saw man coverage and gave his receiver a chance to make a play. They picked up the first down, and I wouldn't be surprised to see them come back to that play. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 44. Let's go! Green 95! Green 95! Throws it deep. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. Great reaction to get his hands in the way of that pass. That's not an easy play to make. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. That's a game set on the way. That makes it third down. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Watch two. Watch two. Ready. Right 80. Right 80. Catches it, and he's immediately tackled behind the line. That's a loss of about three. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. Louisville's offense really had a goal in that first quarter, but they're starting to struggle here in the second hurry. Well, because they played so well early in this game, even though they have been struggling, they still have a pretty comfortable lead. Now let's see if they can hold on to it here as we get ready for the second half. And he's taken down at the 30. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. He might have a chance. Tackle made right around the 40. There's a 
the strike complete. There you go. Good read by the quarterback to give the offense a new set of downs. If the defense wants to line up and man, work that slant route until they stop it. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 44-yard line. He scrambled. He's taken down around the 40-yard line. Good coverage by the defense, but they have to be aware of this quarterback's tendency to scramble around and pick up some yards. Just throws this one away. Third down now. They need to get it down to the 34. He's on the run. Slides down to the ground. Woo! Out of bounds at about the 27 yard line. That makes it and this is the eighth play of the drive. for it all to the end zone. The defender had it and then dropped it. This guy's got to just feel awful dropping an easy interception in the end zone. The best thing that he could do now is go to his teammates and hope that they're able to get him back up and get ready to play that next play. Short pass, middle of the field. And he tackles him hard at the 23. Gain of four yards. That brings, that brings up fourth and three. They'll line it up for the field goal. The kick is up, and it's good. Louisville is ready to kick it away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. Scrambling around, and he's going to be sacked for a loss. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. We've got a second and 11. Ball on the 24. They try to get a head start there. False start, offense. That penalty drives them back, and they're shooting themselves in the foot here. Well, if they can just keep their concentration, they'll avoid situations like that. Second down and a ways to go because of the penalty. Four down, four down. Mike, two. Watch two. Here we go. Good outside run there. Louisville is going to have to use their second time out of the half. Play to half. The Cardinals lead 17 0.
We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Ball security was a major theme coming into this game, and both offensive coordinators have to be thrilled with the fact that their offenses, first and foremost, did a good job of taking care of the ball. And you don't see it every game, that's for sure, that both teams don't have a turnover at the half. And you usually see those critical mistakes that set up a short field for you to take advantage of. And, and it's definitely nice. It's nice to be able to put in a plan all throughout the week and to be able to execute it and not to be able to make those big mistakes. Because coaches will tell you, it's those big mistakes that kill you. It's okay to be rushed in the pocket as a quarterback and then throw it to your mom in the third row. Don't throw it in harm's way. Both quarterbacks done a good job, and as a result, both teams with zero turnovers in the first half. Just about time to start the second half. What, what do you think Herb Street's first point of analysis will be? Uh, I don't know, something to do with quarterback play, I'm sure. I mean, we've got to hear that stuff all the time. It's all about the quarterbacks. Brad and Kirk ready for the second half. And we welcome you back to the action here, just about set for the second half. He sends this one deep. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Louisville's continuing to play extremely tough defense. This has been impressive. It's just been impressive to watch them play with such an attitude, almost a chip on their shoulder with the energy that they're playing with. And I think it's going to require that kind of effort to be able to win this game. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He steps out at about the 29-yard line. They just took what the defense gave them on that play. Yeah, you're right. That was a good job of getting that pass completed for positive yardage. Second down and six. Ball on the 29-yard line. He's going to try and scramble. He's tackled at the 31. Fires quick. Tipped. Well defended that time. You're right. Great job here by the defender playing the ball, keeping his balance, and getting in the way of that pass. And this one is a beauty. He's out to the 30, and he makes it out to about the 31-yard line. They're ready to begin another drive. Tackle around the 43-yard line. From their own 43-yard line. First down. Dumps it complete over the middle. And down he goes at the 45-yard line. it to the 37. It's second down and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Grabs it and hammered right there. five-yard line. First down. And a 
quick throw. And he's finally knocked out of bounds at the three. Street. Great job up front by the offensive line. They get a good, strong push that allowed the runner to get it in there for the touchdown. He makes the PAT. It was a seven-play, 67-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. So our score, 24-0. The defense did a nice job shutting down the offense the last time they had the ball. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. And they make the stop at the 20-yard line. From their own 20 yard line. It's second down. Quick out to his receiver. Brought down at the 29 yard line. That'll bring up third and six. It's third down and six to go. Ball on their own 29. Choose the mic. And he just gets rid of it. Nothing clicking there. Let's see if they can make a few adjustments before their next series. It's away and it's a booming punt. He's to the 40, and he's taken down at the 40. The quarterback is on his way back onto the field, and he led a great drive last time out. That's not what you hope for from your running game. You're looking for some solid north and south progress. You never want to give the defense a play like that to build their confidence. From their own 36-yard line, second down. That's some pretty timid play calling right there. Let's see if they decide to open it up a bit more. Six yard line. So the offense fails to pick up a first down. You always like to move the ball at least past midfield, if only to win the field position battle. The defense wasn't going to give them anything on that try. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Talk about a booming punt. My goodness. Again, it's about stressing special teams. That is why a lot of head coaches usually run these units. It's because field position is just so important in the game. And he's tackled at the four-yard line. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. This safety is as vicious a player as you're going to find. He will make the tackle every single time. Second down. They're deep in their own territory. Gains his way to the 16-yard line. Gain of 12 yards. First down. Four down, four down. Choose the mic. He 
He goes out of bounds at the 19. That'll make it second and seven. From their own 19-yard line, second down. Four down, four down. Mike two, Mike three. Gets it to his wide receiver, and he's got another one. He's to the 40, and he's shoved out of bounds around the 44-yard line. One more quarter to play. Louisville's got a 24-point lead. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Four down, four down. Key eight, key eight. Mike two, watch two. Ready, watch two. green motion, 19. Motion, motion. Green motion, motion. 19. Oh. Oh. Under heavy pressure. He's wrapped up for the sack. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. So the sack makes this a second and long. He's out of bounds with the 36-yard line. Throwing left. And he's hit immediately. First down. It's first and ten. Ball on the 34 yard line. Mike two. Watch two. Watch two. Here we go. Gray 95. Gray 95. Pass incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. It's the ninth play of the drive. That makes it second and ten. Three down, three down. Choose the mic. Here we go. A nice looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. From the 22-yard line, it's first down. Now he tries to buy some time. And now he's going to improvise. Inside the 10. And he's taken down at the 5. Unbelievable. They can't get this offense off the field. Oh, they've been like a machine on this drive. Very methodical and efficient. And once again, they're moving the chains. First and goal from the 5. They're knocking on the door. Four down, four down. Mike, two. Watch two. Watch two. Set. What? Tackle made at about the nine yard line. And this is the 12th play of the drive. Looking for six, and he got it. Touchdown. Tremendous example of the type of chemistry that these two players enjoy. When a quarterback and a receiver are on the same page, good things tend to happen. So the offense is going to go for two. Mike two, Mike two. They try to run up the middle, but met in the backfield. So a 12-play, 97-yard drive. And they get six points on the board after failing the two-point conversion. Down at the 41. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. From the 38-yard line, it's second down. Just under three to go in regulation. They'll give it off here. 
Decent run here, right side. The defense has got to do a better job of being more aggressive. You know, this offense doesn't seem to be in much of a hurry. They're working the clock. You know the chances are they're going to run the football. That allows the defense to pin their ears back and get aggressive. And it really comes down to the defensive linemen holding up against the offensive line and the linebackers and safeties crashing downhill and making plays against the running game. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 30. Check 59. Mike. Mike is 59. Mike is 59. Yo, nine. They go to the back, and he's hit immediately in the backfield. Call it a loss of one yard on the play. That brings us third. Tight end left, tight end left. Four down, four down. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. Mike to 59. Down. Black nine. Screen pass. He's got his halfback. Knocked out of bounds at the 29. They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. Kicks away. And it's good! Louisville. They kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Nothing left here except to see the clock hit zero. A comeback is just not happening. He throws it. And he can't hang on to it. It's second and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. Set. Wide he unloads it. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. And the wideout gets a chance to show what he can do. Oh, he sure does. And he doesn't disappoint either. Great athletic ability. Here we go. Green 88. Green. Got it. Complete. He's out of bounds. Man, left, man, From the 26-yard line, first down. Mike two, Mike two. Here we go, green nine. And he just gets rid of it. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Mike two, watch two, watch two. Ready, waiting, huh? Just throws this one away. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. Choose the mic. Hey, here we go. Throws it in a hurry. He's taken down at the 16-yard line. Wow, a long game, but still not enough for the first. Well, the offense hurt themselves by digging themselves into a hole on first and second down, so the defense didn't really have to put too much thought in how to defend on that third down. Well, you can talk about offense all you want, and they were good today, but the defense was better. They come up with a play of the day, and that'll lead to the victory. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. The offense lining up in a victory formation, and he takes a knee. That's going to do it for this one. Our final score, 27-6, to 6, Cardinal. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreet, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.